early Christians celebrate Christmas. It's Christmas for Christians, part five. Christmas was not among the earliest festivals of the church. The first evidence of the feast is from Egypt. Pagan customs centering around the January calendars gravitated to Christmas. In the scriptures, no one is recorded to have kept the feast or held a great banquet on his, Jesus' birthday. It is only sinners who make great rejoicings over the day in which they are born into this world. And to settle some minds out there that the place no stock in any boast of Catholicism, the Roman Catholic Church is not the only one that understands this simple historic fact. A broad element of English Christianity still considered Christmas celebration a pagan blasphemy. The Puritans, Baptists, Quakers, Presbyterians, Calvinists, and other denominations brought this opposition to early New England and strong opposition to the holiday last in America until the middle of the 18th century. Christmas was not among the earliest festivals of the church. Christmas, it was, according to many authorities, not celebrated in the first centuries of the Christian church. As the Christian usage in general was to celebrate the death of remarkable persons, e.g. communion, death of Christ, rather than their birth. A feast was established in memory of this event, the birth of Jesus, in the 4th century. In the 5th century, the Western Church ordered it to be celebrated forever on the day of the old Roman feast of the birth of the soul, the Son, as no certain knowledge of the day of Christ's birth existed. Since there is no evidence for the observance of Christmas in the Bible, the questions arise, what is its origin, and when did its celebration begin? Lector P. Wallstrom says, The custom to celebrate the birth of Christ in the last part of December began first in the 4th century. Before that, the 6th of January was celebrated. How much the date of the festival depended upon the pagan Brumilia, December 25th, following the Saturnalia, December 17th to the 24th, and celebrating the shortest day of the year in the new sun cannot be accurately determined. The pagan Saturnalia and Brumelia were too deeply entrenched in popular custom to be set aside by Christian influence. The pagan festival with its riot and merrymaking was so popular that Christians were glad of an excuse to continue in its celebration with little change in spirit and manner. Christian preachers of the West and the Near East protested against the unseemly frivolity with which Christ's birthday was celebrated, while Christians of Mesopotamia accused their Western brethren of idolatry and sun worship for adopting as Christian this pagan festival. Within the Christian church, no such festival as Christmas was ever heard of till the 3rd century, and not till the 4th century was far advanced that it gained much observance. How then did the Roman church fix on December 25th as Christmas Day? Why, thus, long before the 4th century, and long before the Christian era itself, a festival was celebrated among the heathen, at that precise time of the year, in honor of the birth of the Son of the Babylonian Queen of Heaven. And it may fairly be presumed that, in order to conciliate the heathen, and to swell the number of nominal adherents of Christianity, the same festival was adopted by Roman Church, giving it the name of Christ. May God bless.